Hi Dixons, I'm Steve Kitson, Head of Geography at Dixons King's Academy, where we are today. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our platform at www.dixonsos.com. In our last video, we looked at the evidence around retrieval practice. Now I'm going to share what it can look like in practice. The EEF described retrieval as a process of recalling information from memory with little or minimal prompting. But, as we're clearing our evidence meta messages at Dixon's, implementation is key. One tool that can be used to support retrieval practice is the knowledge organiser. First of all, retrieval practice is in mind when we design them. We need to construct knowledge organisers in such a way to facilitate retrieval. Knowledge has to be well formulated. That is to say it needs to be presented in a clear, systematic and efficient way, rather than complex blocks of prose. When knowledge is presented in a manner that makes it easily testable, it can transfer into other formats, such as do-now quizzes, flashcards and transfer to online programmes too, such as carousel learning. For example, at Dixon's Kings, we've created simple do-now quizzes. This is a routine start to each lesson. And while we aim to ask students to retrieve at the start of every lesson, we never limit retrieval simply to the do-now. The main benefit of a knowledge organiser is that it is a renewable resource. It can be returned to time and again. And if curriculum leaders take time to make sure the knowledge included is worth knowing, you're off to a good start. But it's not just teachers who can use knowledge organisers for retrieval. We can teach students how to self-quiz. When knowledge organisers are designed to facilitate retrieval, it is easier for students to be able to do this for themselves. Here at King's, we start most lessons with a quiz of between 5 and 10 questions, which students complete on their mini whiteboards. Students then self-mark their answers. It can be easy to reduce retrieval practice to simply knowledge organiser quizzes. However, we're keen to ensure we go beyond this and beyond the simple idea that retrieval is only quizzing. For example, at King's, we found that our students can struggle to identify key coastal features from images, which is a key skill in geography exams. So, we created Do Now quizzes based on images used in our lesson PowerPoints. As with our standard quizzes, students self-mark their own answers. And there are other forms of retrieval practice that we encourage. Free recall or brain dump, where students are asked to recall everything they know on a topic, can be an effective way of retrieving and check it with feedback. Some key ingredients for successful implementation of retrieval practice. We should follow retrieval practice with some form of feedback. For example, students can self-mark their answers on mini whiteboards, so teachers can identify students who are struggling with recall. We should keep it low stakes for maximum benefit. Although we should keep it low stakes, it doesn't mean retrieval should be effortless. There needs to be a desirable difficulty, and students should know this too. Finally, don't limit retrieval practice to quizzing. In our next video in this series, we'll have a look at what retrieval practice looks like in one of our primary schools.